I'm making this video because everybody thinks that it's always cool to get a paid nigga or a nigga that got money. Let me tell you something. Some of the paidest niggas be assholes. You know, full blown assholes. And sometimes it be the dudes that don't have money that treat you like the best. And I hate to say that, but being 42, I have dated men with money. And to me, you don't get treated right. Because they think they can buy everything with money. But when you get somebody and only thing y'all have is communication and body vibes and mental stimulation, that's like the best because... If you take the sex away, you got a beautiful friendship. You know, most people don't even want to fuck with you if you're not fucking. But you can't go around fucking everybody nowadays. People just not clean. They nasty. So, I'm like so chill right now. I don't even know what to say. I think I got a little buzz. When I get a buzz, I get sleepy. I don't know about y'all. I'll be ready to be like out for the count. It's like 6 o'clock right now. I'm like so ready to go to bed. As soon as I cut this thing off, I'm going straight upstairs and get in the bed. I'm so sleepy. Either I'm sleepy or I'm buzzed. I don't know which one it is. Because I had like a small drink like that big. Now I'm smelling somebody that's cooking either hamburgers or ribs or hot dogs. I don't know what the fuck it is I smell. But whatever it is, it smell good and they cooking it. You know, as I look at this video, I look and I see my mom. That's crazy. I look just like my mother. Just like her. That's so crazy. I look at my eyes and I can see her. I got pictures of her when she was a teenager and I look just like her. That's crazy. It's so peaceful out here. I can't switch the camera. I heard that bug. Where the fuck is that noise coming from? It's irritating as fuck. Is it coming from out there? I don't know. I met this guy. Like, um, he lived in. Oh. Uh, First Bluefield Hills. I swear he gotta be like 70. But he had no problem walking up to me asking me like, can I take you out for coffee sometime? I'm like, boy, this old man got goods. Like, you sure can since you had the audacity, uh, since you had the balls to approach me. Man, I got to give you credit. So when I was talking to him, I said, you sound like you got an accent. Where are you from? He told me he was from I thought he said Italy, but then he said Iraq. It was he said Iraq, Iraq. I'm like, oh, you from Iraq? Cause I was like, why would you move here versus Italy? I thought I was like, I thought Italy was nice. Everybody that was from Italy, you know, I thought people wanted to go to Italy and Paris. He said, no, not Italy, Iraq. I'm like, oh, no wonder you left. I would left too. Shit, don't nobody want to live in no fucking Iraq fuck around and dad then we started talking about our president I said and i'm just probably rambling because i'm buzzed but i said ain't it crazy how our president is making this big spectacle about spectacle about immigrants and he's gonna build this wall and he want to stop the illegal people from coming in the united states but his wife is an immigrant she wasn't from here 
she her he got her family deported over here so how can you speak about immigrants and your wife is an immigrant she don't even live in the white house she ain't even never she can't even speak that much english i don't know what our first lady name is but i know she don't fuck with us she ain't fucking with us she do not live in the white house she lives like i think in new york somewhere how is this possible? Michelle Obama stayed in the White House. Hillary stayed in the White House. Jackie Kennedy stayed in the White House. Um, Barbara Bush stayed in the White House. Everybody stayed in the White House. How come Trump's wife don't stay in the White House? Just thoughts, just random thoughts that I just be thinking about. You know, my son went with his dad this weekend, and I had a, like, tight grip on that. Like, he wasn't going over there because I was, like, super paranoid. I'm loosening up my grip a little bit more and getting a little comfortable. It take like, a step at a time. It's kind of hard, but I don't want to be bitter Betty that keeps my baby away from his dad. So I'll put my differences aside so that they can have a better relationship. It's not always about you sometimes, you know. I know a lot of people, when they think about kids, mothers and kids, fathers, they think that they be messing around or they do this and do they do that. I have no desire, none, no desire at all, none. I don't even have thoughts about messing with any of my kids' fathers. They're my kids' fathers, and that's it. And more people should be like that. I hate that my baby couldn't have his parents, but sometimes shit like don't always work out the way you want it. You know what I'm saying? So you got to co-parent and still teach your kid the best of co by being co-parents, you know? It's crazy because a lot of people would never understand our situation because my son's father has a girlfriend and I like her and she, my baby like her and my baby asks about her and my baby talk to her and it's like really I don't want him to break up with her because then my child would have to be around somebody different and I don't feel like having to gain trust with nobody else. I'm like comfortable like this, but I know I can't control what goes on over there in their household or what he does, but I really wish he would just settle his ass down with one person and just stop like with the foolishness because sooner or later you get too old to be playing games. You can't be in, you can't be in a real, just messing with people with no purpose or goal. You know, you just fucking bitches just to fuck them and you like, old as hell no when the fuck you gonna stop and settle the fuck down you know guess i should ask myself that same question but i have friends you know and my friends i don't even have that many friends i keep my circle very small I don't deal with too many people because I'm very outspoken and everybody can't handle my my attitude or my mouth or my bipolarness. You know, one day I'm this way, next way I'm next day I'm that way, next day I'm this way, next day I'm this way. Like I'll be like all over the place, and some people can't handle that. You know, I I noticed that over the years. Like, only certain people can handle me or deal with me. And it's not by, it's not that I want to be like this. You know, I don't want to be like this, but I can't control. I don't know how to control my emotions. I know how to control my emotions, but the mental part is really hard sometimes. To, to gather your thoughts when your head is rushing and thinking and thinking and thinking. It's kind of hard, so... That's why I start talking on here. Even though I don't talk to nobody, 
I just talk to myself in the camera. I feel like it's my way of venting and getting whatever is on my chest off my chest. Because sometimes it's not always people around. You know, I'm let you read this. Hold on, wait one minute. Yeah. I got this book right here. And my roommate was like, wow, I read your book. And I felt sad. And I was like, you read my book? What's in my book? So I'm going to read y'all. This is what was going through my head at the time. When I think that I really needed help. Close the door. Close the door. It's crazy because I dated this February 13th, 2018. So, it's going to read a little bit of it to you. It's very dark and sad. I'm going to tell you the struggle I went through so you will know. Help someone when you see them slipping. Don't just act like it's them and ignore it. I've been unhappy for a while. I cry every day, every fucking day. People around me see nothing. Don't cry after I'm gone because no one even tried to be just a friend. Love, love, love. When I think of love, I think of my kids. Love, I got a heart and a smiley face. I love my kids. Everybody who entered my life, I sooner became their number two. I hope my death hurts and hunts everyone who brought me pain. I will be free and fuck the world, whoever I cross paths with. Only love is for my kids. I may not be here for them in physical world, but I'll be with them in the spiritual world. Why was I never good enough to be someone's number one? I was only good enough for favors, sex, anything... <clears throat> anybody could use me for i hate this world and everybody on it fuck every single person who i ever knew fuck everybody who i ever crossed paths with fuck this evil world fuck everybody i'm lost i can't find one person to give me a hand up i stay so strong I fight for my kids. I help others, but I'm angry and I'm tired. I fucking hate this world. I used to be so nice. What's we'll turned me evil? I fucking hate everybody, and I mean everybody. I wonder how long can I go without eating. Sooner or later, I'll pass. I can't wait. Hurry up and come get me, God. I'll hate, I'll hate this whole world because everybody in it is so shitty. Slime ball ass people who don't give a fuck. Just use you to get what they want. It's crazy how cutthroat people are. I still feel so down like I can't shake this sadness off. This feels horrible. How do I make it right? I didn't even remember when I wrote that, but I wrote it, and my friend found it and brought it to my attention. It was like, wow, I really feel sorry for you, but that's really how I was feeling. That's why it's so important when you're feeling like that to seek help, and that's all I'm going to say. I, that was February 3rd. I think I was put in the hospital right after that, and I was put on like... Prozac, and that's when I started doing these videos right after this.
and the hospital helped it really did sometimes people may need it pray for my son my 20 year old I love that boy he just don't know if something happened to him I would be so devastated but he just looks so not well to me and he's always having dizzy spells or his heart is beating funny and he lost his best friend a year ago and so I worry about him you know so pray for my older son because he's such a sweetheart but it's bedtime so I have to get my little one ready for bed hope everybody enjoyed their weekend I did I know I'm still looking a hot mess but I don't even care I'm about to go to bed good night